All right. Joy and pain like sunshine and rain. Give me PHP. All right, here we go. <laughs> What's crackalackin' everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Memphis, Tennessee. And I'm here with Ed and Joy in their office here. Uh, beautiful building. It's not a, uh, a suite, it's the building, yeah. right? right? So uh, <clears throat> they're just not renting an office suite like we are in Chicago. They got the whole building. So uh, very, very proud of them. So um, I'm excited about uh, Ed and Joy here. Ed uh, Falls and Joy Bryant. Uh, what's going on, Vanessa? Good to see you guys. And hey, guys, if you haven't done so already, you guys know the deal. Please definitely share, share, share this video. So what we're going to be talking about during this conversation because I got to catch a flight. So yes. about uh, a brief 10, 15 minute conversation is a little bit about their background and why they love the insurance industry from a real estate background, real estate investor background, from a, from a mortgage broker ba uh, background, running a mortgage operation and owning a mortgage operation tax operation and why now insur the insurance industry it seems like a progression so hey guys um tell us a little bit about your background and, and uh, uh ladies first I'm yeah, mind, right? Yeah, for sure. right so uh, joy <laughs> talk to us about your experience in the mortgage industry and also taxes i was in a i started the mortgage business in uh, 1995 i was there to 2008 when uh, it wasn't so great when everything um when the mortgage industry crashed well, <clears throat> when the when the when the market crashed, I sort of kind of crashed along with a lot of people here in the city of Memphis. Crashed with the market. Number one, we did not have any income-producing assets. We did not have our money, and then we weren't. We, we did not protect ourselves. Gotcha. And um, so that's one of the things that I love about PHP. I have not been excited about business until PHP. This is the only company that I've actually uh, met, um, I've actually became a part of that I could see would su continue to support my lifestyle to actually bring a lot of the real estate market back, the mortgage market back, never been approached <laughs> about insurance. I don't understand why. I had friends <laughs> in the insurance business, but they never told me. I, about the insurance wow. business, but <clears throat> being a part of PHP, we're protecting families. I am so excited. We're protecting families. We're protecting ourselves. Um, we are building, and we are building a team here to go out into the market to help, um, to not only just help bring sexy back, because <laughs> money is sexy. Yeah, right. So not only just bring sexy back, but to help to bring the people here in the city of Memphis and the surrounding areas. Um, uh, being in the mortgage business, I made a lot of money, made uh, over $100,000 per month several times in a year. Mm -hmm. And um, and why did I crash when the market crashed? Mm -hmm. Didn't have that insurance in place. Uh, believe it or not, I was making that type of money and didn't have an insurance policy. Wow. Could have been uh, building cash value. Uh, when the market crashed in 2008, going back to that, it was it, it was it would have been easy for me to pull three mm -hmm. or four hundred thousand right. cash value. Right. Uh, I was trying to save everybody that surrounded me uh, <clears throat> that I had put in place. Mm -hmm. I just felt like a failure. Mm -hmm. I felt like I could not save them. Right. Now I can go back yep. and I can be. I can't be their savior, <laughs> so I don't want to get in trouble with the man above, but I can go back and um, show these people, even without me mm -hmm. being in your life, gotcha. and this is powerful for me, even with not without me being around, yep. I can show you how to protect yourself, how to protect your family, wow. and, have a, and live a productive life. You're, you have a background in entrepreneurship. You're telling me that uh, your mother uh, was cleaning homes in a particular yes. area of Memphis. Yes. And, and what did entrepreneurship allow you to do eight years later? Um, my mom was cleaning home out in the Fort Seal Estates. And uh, sometime I would go to work with her. And I'm there polishing on their gold, their silver, <laughs> crying. And I'm like, do I ever live like this? And uh, eight years later, I became those people's neighbors. That's it. And, um, and they would see me out. I really wasn't jogging, and I really wasn't trying to work out, Matt. But I had to show them, hey, look, I'm here. <laughs> so, in other words, 
I used to clean your house. Now I have a housekeeper that comes Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Yes. And I had a cook. Mm -hmm. So, hey, PHP, yeah. I'm looking forward to all yeah. of that coming back into boom, my life. Boom, 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 <laughs> boom. Like a little, very good. Oh. So, and so, uh, Ed, tell us a little bit about your background. If you guys hadn't seen this already, they've, they've hung up this sign in the back there. It says PHP Agency. So definitely uh, uh, show them some love. This office is a PHP office in Memphis. They're launching it here. So, so Ed, tell us a little bit about your background when it comes to real estate investing. Yes, my background in real estate investing was um, I was more on the investment side um, in the Atlanta market um, at an early age. Um, had a uh, was in a, a very equitable position, but um, like her. At that time, we wasn't educated about money. And, um, you know, I did a lot of things in the entertainment industry as far as promoting and different things like that. So, you know, it's if you, when you're not educated about money, because we're not taught about it in schools, we're not taught, taught about it um, with our parents because they only it's only what they know. So at the same time, it's like when you have it and you don't know what to do with it, you lose it. And just so happened from Wall Street to our street, the market crashed and it pretty much killed the industry. And that's kind of when me and her met and we came together and we came up with something to basically repair people um, for what they went through with the market. So really this is, is a continuation of what we got started with then. And, um, and I know, I'm a firm believer that, that the things that you do in life um, brings about things good things to you as well mm -hmm. when you do good things for other people and how, how PHP big? is helping yeah. other people and it's definitely helping us too because even being that we are in real estate and that we are in taxes taxes is seasonal and everybody knows yeah. real estate I mean you buy the property you got it's not like you know on the TV show where you see when they buy it and then like 30 minutes later it's fixed and they made their money no <laughs> that's, that's 90 days 120 days you know sometime a uh, half a year a uh, whole year later so um, that's the truth behind you got, real yeah, exactly right. you got to have you got to have this you got to have supplemental income and and their 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 financial model is just so awesome i mean this is the right time and and it's the right place to get involved with the, with the company that can basically enhance other people's lives as well as enhancing yours. So, so you guys had multi-millions of dollars, right? You guys yes. had multi-millions oh, yeah. of dollars, but it was what type of assets? It was, uh, it was oh, it, I mean, even, even right now, we, we, yeah, we got, we got multi-millions yeah. now, <laughs> right, but wait, guess what, assets. guess what, what Matt told me is not liquid. We cannot touch it no. because we have to sell a property or we have to create a, do a transaction in order to get money. So at the same time, it, it, you got to have residual income, regardless of what you're doing. You got to have residual income. It's a definite that you got to have it because at one moment the market can change and that value in that property could no longer exist. So you can actually get stuck out there, which we have that have have happened before, and even had buyers back out, different things like that. So yeah, li the key is liquid, yeah. liquid, liquid. liquid. <laughs> yeah. That's the, the key. Liquid right. millionaires. Gotcha. That's it. If, if you guys watched my live stream yesterday, it's five ways to become a millionaire. One way is to become a net worth millionaire. And another way is to become a cash flow millionaire. Yeah. Why? Because you have control of that, of that income, the control of that cash. So um, looks like you got a lot of comments here. Uh, strong. Yeah. You, you guys got a lot of comments here. Get to some of these comments here in a minute. But um, so you guys are now also at the same time, in addition to helping people with money, helping people you know, with real estate, and you guys have a program for that. Yes. We're in your tax office right now. Yes. Right? yes. So, so, yes. so how are you yes. helping people with tax, taxes too as well? Well, actually, we're showing them how to invest, to take their tax money, and uh, to go on and pay their life insurance policies up for a year, mm -hmm. uh, put them an annuity in mm -hmm. place. Wow. Uh, uh, teaching them about cash value mm -hmm. and policies, okay. and we meet them where they are. And we, Ed and I, started this program, the Financial ER. If you're sick nice. financially, financial ER. yes. If you're sick fa uh, med medically, you go to the ER mm -hmm. uh, for help. If you're uh, sick in your finances, where do you go? You come to the financial ER. The emergency and, room. Yeah, yeah, come straight to the emergency room. Well, yeah. sometimes we have some people that flatline <laughs> in their finances, but we do everything we can do to bring them back. So... Um, so teaching them financial education, 
uh, cash flow management, debt elimination, yeah. those type of things is really, really opening up a lot of doors for us. And we are challenging Memphis, the leaders, the pastors, <laughs> the pastors, the leaders, the employers to, uh, we're challenging you to help your people to become financially fit. And so that's what we're, um, that's what we're doing. And PHP was the part that was missing. Wow. Matt, I'm serious. So That's mortgage the, and real estate tax, yes. PHP was a missing component. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Tied it all together. Yeah. Yes. Well, how so? Because, <clears throat> again, these a lot of our people, they don't have insurance policies. Wow. Uh, they don't know about cash values, uh, uh, building cash values, because they didn't have policies. Mm -hmm. So educating them in that area, mm -hmm. it, again, we encourage them, yes, come together and eat. Um, at your table as a family, mm -hmm. but also come together and have finance night. Right, nice. You know, let's mm -hmm. meet at the table and let's talk about finance. It's something that people don't want to talk about. And mm -hmm. I tell them, I say, you know, you can you can pick and choose to play any game that you want to play, but you can choose if you're going to play basketball, baseball, whatever. But there's one game that you must play. You have no other alternative. And that's called the money game. Right. And if you don't know the rules, you're going to lose every time. And we're teaching them yeah. the rules of it. Because sometimes people may not even be in a position ever in their whole entire life, sadly, right, to mm -hmm. ever buy a home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They may not ever get a mortgage. Mm -hmm. They may not ever uh, buy real estate. But one of these days, they either have to pay taxes mm -hmm. yes. or, sadly, when the Lord calls them home. Mm -hmm. right? So nothing is certain as death and taxes. Right. right. And you guys are both entrenched in, in yes. both conversations. Yes. So from a, I see it but from a consumer standpoint, like consumers are better because for your tax clients, your real estate clients, your mortgage clients, they've never had this financial basic education from, your, from what you're right. observing. Right. Wow. Right. And you're doing that now. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Right. 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 And we're going, um, like I say, into the communities, which at, into the churches, we're actually training all of our PHP agents mm -hmm. um, uh, on how to do that. Wow. You know, and, and talking about finances, and, and then we, it's, it's okay when you have something in place, and when we just think about the family mm -hmm. at, that works for Federal Express, they have the money right there, and they have all of their uh, 401ks, all those things in place, but they still, you can ask them questions about finances, and they don't, you know, I'm like, so what do you have? What type of 401k? I wow. mean, how is it set up? They, they like we don't know. We just no. sign every year. Wow. We just sign it and let it and go and let it go back. So guys, so. If, you, if you guys are tuning in, you're tuning into the Money Smart Guy Facebook live stream. If you're watching us on YouTube, you're turning you're tuning into the Money Smart Guy YouTube page. Make sure you like, subscribe our channel, and you're listening to Ed and Joy, who are right here in Memphis, and they have a real estate background, real estate investing background, a mortgage uh, uh, broker background. And also, they currently have a, uh, not only in, t in addition to the real estate portfolios, but they have a tax business. So you guys see people's financial questions and issues every day. Oh, yeah. Mul every day. Multiple times during the day. And a lot of our people, unfortunately, the only time they um, deal with their finances is during tax time. Wow. So they just bring it to us. Once a year. Once a year. <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> Once a year. Well, and we, I let them know the dependence that you're carrying mm -hmm. on your you know, protect them. Right. And they were like, and some like, so like break down in tears. They like, no one ever talked to me wow. about this. You know, and I mean, protect your family and you pay it up for a year mm -hmm. and every anniversary at tax time, right. pay it up for another year. Good. And, and, and keep That's your strategy. family protected. Yeah. See, people will pay their taxes, they'll pay the mortgage company, they'll pay their car loan, they'll pay their, their, uh, uh, their mortgage, except they'll pay a lot of other bills, but when do they get to pay their family? Right. You know, yeah. so that, that's yeah. really what you're doing. So from a consumer standpoint, right. I see how that's very key right. and how PHP agency is helping you. From an entrepreneur standpoint, did, yes. you, did you want to add that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, you were going right where I was going. So yeah. from an entrepreneur standpoint, okay, you got real estate holdings. Mm -hmm. You got a tax business that lasts until uh, April, May, mm -hmm. right? depending on extensions, right? Right. Um, you, you've got uh, real estate that got going on, more has got going on. What about the in-betweens? So, so from a revenue standpoint, right. how does PHP agency and the insurance industry help you both out? Well, basically, um, one, one of the best things for entrepreneurs about PHP is the fact that you still, you don't lose your identity. This is a situation that you can build a business within your business, and that is key. So 
that that a lot of times people are like, I don't want to get involved in nothing else. I don't want to yeah. do this. But now, so you're talking about how it helps us sure. in between those deals, in between those seasons, and also not leaving that money on the table with the homeowners, with um, the tax clients. It's about taking advantage of what, what you have in front of you and also putting them in a better position, but at the same time, just making sure that you have a steady flow of cash. Right. Because that's seasonal yeah. and that, like I said, that turnaround time on them properties, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of time in between there. And, 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 and getting paid two times a week with PHP, <laughs> I mean, yeah, very helpful. So, when you're doing a real estate closing, what's the average real estate closing sales cycle that you find yourself into? Oh my, wow, oh my god, like, like two months, <laughs> like, two months. No, no, no. Now, 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 on the 5th of January, okay. we closed a real estate deal, flipped mm -hmm. the deal, closed it. Nice. Um, in February, in March, and then all at once, everything went solid. Yeah. Yeah. And we were actually, we we're buying the properties, we we're fixing them up, whatever. But man, I don't, the devastating thing that happened to us mm -hmm. in October, we had one of our properties. And particular property, we was making like $75,000 mm -hmm. on it when we closed. Well, uh, we had a client was scheduled to close November the 8th. I helped her to get the loan, mm -hmm. helped her to get qualified, 100% financing, 3.25% nice. interest rate. Uh, house payment was got like four forty nine, dollars mm -hmm. right? We thought that that was the perfect deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, November, on November the 8th, she changed her mind. So you did all that work for all her. of that work. How much you get paid? Nothing. <laughs> Matt, you're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me, small. <laughs> so, but, but at any rate, November the eighth, we were scheduled to close. Mm -hmm. November the um, the closing attorneys. Everybody mm -hmm. held it out until like uh, even the lender. Everybody was just like, "So what's the problem?" You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, because everybody was going to, you know, it's, it's holidays, yeah. right? It's holiday pay for a lot of people. Yeah. And so we were, the, I think it was the week after Thanksgiving, the deal just totally went. Wow. So now we went from, keep in mind, mm -hmm. March to yeah. October. So we were like, okay, cool. Um, Six, seven months. Yeah. But we're getting ready to make 75000 November the 8th on closing. It didn't close, guys, and mm. I, I'm like, God, I hear you. I'm getting this message. Mm. Richard Welch, Welch. and Mo, uh, Monique Welch called Ed up. They were really good friends, and um, they call us up and say, hey, we got something for you. So we were like, we don't want to see anything. We don't want no more lotions and potions, yeah, yeah. no more st uh, uh, circles and sticks, sticks and circles. <laughs> we're done with that. <laughs> so we were like, but at any rate, what the, the thing that really, and let me speed and say this, um, they call it the right time. Mm. Because we were in a financial crunch to the point to where we were like, we're not going to do real estate anymore. But we were saying that at the time because mm -hmm. we felt like that. Mm -hmm. But when they called us, it was all about the right timing. Mm -hmm. Because if they had called us in October or November when this deal closed, mm -hmm. if they had called us anywhere in between there, yeah. we would have told them no with PHP. Even though we knew that what we had, mm -hmm. the people needed. But God said, no, I gave it to you guys to give it to someone else. Mm. And that was burned, but a lesson learned. Wow. Right. So we could not. We wanted to retire. We had said we are going to liquidate all of our assets. We were going to retire. We are going to run out, ride out in the sunset. But nope. God said, nope. You got to keep working. We and, got something uh, else. And notice they said um, financial crunch. Yes, you can be in a financial crunch and have assets of $1.6 million. Yes, it's possible. Wow. Yes. So what, what would you say, last question, before I got to jam out to the airport? What's one thing you would tell somebody who is a real estate investor, who has a tax office, who is in the mortgage industry, what would you tell them why they should consider installing or at least having a serious conversation about offering services by the insurance industry? 
I would say to them, number one, you don't ever, I learned, you don't ever put all your eggs in one basket. And most definitely, um, from, from the standpoint of getting paid, on Tuesdays and Fridays <laughs> with PHP, <laughs> with PHP, <laughs> you don't get that. Yeah. You don't do, get that, and you don't put your egg, egg, all of your eggs in one basket. Uh, also, on um, uh, as from a real estate mm -hmm. and um, a mortgage standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, we got to educate our people. It would bring more and more business to you. It would mm -hmm. keep you alive. It would keep you going. Uh, the insurance in uh, industry, I didn't realize, man, it was so powerful. Hmm. It's so much to learn. Yeah. It's so much money you guys are leaving on the table. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say that because <laughs> we were leaving yeah. a lot of money yeah. on the table. And generations, we sell a house, we close on a house, we don't see those people probably in the next five, ten years sometime, yeah. ever. Yeah. But, hey, you got an insurance policy with them. Yeah. It's going to keep going. Right. It's and going to keep and going. better retention for your real estate business. Yes, yeah. and better okay. retention for yeah. that real estate business. Gotcha. So, hey, look, get connected. Call yeah. us. We're in Memphis. Right. Yes, you have a friend in the insurance business. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Hey, guys, thanks, thanks for tuning in. And this is, again, this is Ed Falls and Joy Bryant. And I'm your money smart guy, Matt Zapala, hailing again from Memphis. We are building Memphis. The tri-state area. There's Memphis here. There's Mississippi, and there's Arkansas. Or is it Arkansas? <laughs> Ar Arkansas. Arkansas. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> good. So we got a lot of great comments here. Sal Torres said, "I've had success in real estate. Um, had success in real estate and the insurance industry. Uh, the key is uh, be of service. Keep the main thing, the main thing. Leverage and develop leaders and learn your products. Yes. Right. Very good. Uh, we got Nathan Aaron from uh, uh, Arizona. What's going on, buddy? Danny Banks giving you some props. Uh, uh, Christopher Moss." Uh, Cheyenne Leah Tilgren, also from, from um, Tucson, Arizona. Kim Michelle, uh, Shakia Adams, Dan Trey. Uh, you got a question about how to partner with a realtor. We'll ju jump back and drop some comments on up. But I think if you want to partner with a realtor, send them this video. Right. Right. right? Send them this video. Hey, listen, this is how successful real estate investors, mortgage professionals, tax professionals are integrating insurance, obviously PHP agency, into the business model and uh, maybe it's something that you should do as well. Uh, Jerome Deppner, what's going on, Jerome? This is a, a veteran entrepreneur here. Uh, you can't break off a, a break off window and take it to the bank. <laughs> you can't break down a wall and cash it and say this is what it's worth. So, right, right. all right, guys, I, I've been very, I'm very, very uh, thankful here for you guys' gifts. You know, mm -hmm. uh, 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 who dropped that off uh, again? Will Scott. Scott. Will Scott. Mm -hmm. Will Scott. Can, can I get that barbecue there? there? They gave me some barbecue sauce from the Dancing Pigs. Right, taking this home from Chicago. Uh, my wife, my baby boo boo, will be enjoying some um, mint strawberry, chocolate covered strawberries up in there too, as well. Uh, it is our anniversary, so I'm going to give that to, to my wife and a bunch of other things too, as well. Right, happy anniversary. anniversary. Yeah, cool guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like this page, you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you drop your comments and share this video with a real estate, mortgage, and tax professional you know to help their clients and also to help them as entrepreneurs. That being said, until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. <laughs>